Welcome to a socialist critique of Judge Judy, the video where we watch Judge Judy and analyze what she does in order to understand the type of messages that we get from our society and media within a capitalistic society. We had been over someone else's house. Whose house? Another guy. Nay. Uh. Oh, it's not an answer. <laughs> So right off the bat, we see the main thing that Judge Judy has to offer her television audience. That is, she humiliates people, she exerts power over other people, and when her television audience watches her do this, they live vicariously through her. They get the satisfaction of dominating over someone else, and they get the satisfaction of feeling that they're better than someone else. This woman is the perfect victim for Judge Judy. She's a young person, she's poor, she probably doesn't have a lot of education. At the very least, she's not sophisticated enough to know that she's walking into a trap. She's not used to being on TV. She's not used to being in this situation. So sure, she's stumbling over some words. Why does that mean you need to be barked at? But keep in mind that I want to take this theme further. It's not just humiliating people. It's this you know, unmentioned idea that poor people deserve to be poor because they are inferior. One last thing before going forward, I'm going to skip through parts of this case because I'm not really interested in the case per se. I'm more interested in what Judge Judy does and analyzing capitalistic propaganda. And the less Judge Judy we have to watch, the better because I fucking hate that woman. I did not want to fight her in that car. I'm the most responsible driver you can have. You're irresponsible. I let me tell you why you're irresponsible. Did you have insurance? I had insurance. No, you had no insurance. If you don't pay for your insurance, you had no insurance. So sure, we can all get it. A poor person ran out of their car insurance, didn't have the money to renew it, and then goes on this TV show and acts like that's somehow an excuse, that the fact that she had insurance before is now going to make up the fact that she wasn't having insurance at the time um, of some incident. And while you can make fun of her, and while what she's trying to do with that excuse, you know, is an uneducated thing, it is naive, it is open yourself up to humiliation, but shows like Judge Judy are never going to ask the greater questions. The just the very fact that people need to have a lot of money in the society in order to have a car and to be able to have insurance. And let's say a poor person who doesn't have much money gets into some trouble. Let's say they have an additional you know, expense. Let's say they get into a car accident. Let's say they lose their job or don't get paid as much. It can create a a personal crisis where yeah then you're driving around without insurance because essentially you have no choice and then it just takes one accident and your life in which is difficult where you're struggling to just get by just becomes significantly worse but of course the actual systemic issues within our society that lead to poverty and lead to m people making these poor decisions is not considered on Judge Judy Actually, the type of society that creates people as naive and uneducated as this woman, again, is not considered. It's all taken from the perspective that this woman, her situation, what she was doing, all comes down to her personal responsibility. And if you just injected enough personal responsibility into the phenomena of poverty, all these situations wouldn't happen, all these problems would go away. But still, at the most primal level, what you have is a woman being humiliated because she is poor. It just left. It had left the whole month. It was three days on the third day, that's when this occurred. It had left for only three days. It was like a weekend and a Monday. I had no idea I was gonna have all this going on. <laughs> I didn't. Let me ask you a question. When you woke up this morning to come to court, hold up your hand like this. Did you remember to put on all those rings? How many rings did you remember to put on? Oh, it's just one. It's just one ring? Mm -hmm. Did you remember to put it on this yeah. morning? Did you, you shh, shh. did you remember to put on all your jewelry? Yes, I put it in my did pocket. You, just a second. Did you put on all your jewelry? Did you put on your earrings? Did you put on your necklace? Put it all on? Yes. Did you put on your lipstick? <gasps> little lip, lip gloss, little yes. eye stuff? Did you remember to 
all that stuff and coordinated. You're coordinated. You have nice shoes and nice dress. It's all coordinated. Mm -hmm. What you didn't do was pay your car insurance. <laughs> when you're poor, you're living in a constant state of emergency. And people lasp on their car insurance, not because they forget, not because they don't think they need it, not because they think that it's okay if it runs out and you once had it, but because they don't have the money to renew it. And yes, they go out and they find these people who are targets for humiliation, who don't seem very educated, at the face, least, very least, very naive. They seem to think they can say things to Judge Judy which aren't very intelligent or don't make a lot of sense, and that they're going to go away with something when clearly that's not going to happen. All that being said, it doesn't excuse the point that Judge Judy is here to humiliate people. She's nothing but a bully. And from a systemic perspective, the way that you solve a lot of these problems is not by humiliating people or, again, that personal responsibility thing. It's by changing the social structure that leads to poverty and all the problems of poverty. Because the types of conflict that people get into on Judge Judy is really part of structural violence against poor people. And I don't care whether it lapsed for one day or three days or three months. And you were out 2.30 in the morning and you got suing him for $5,000 for car damage in your countersuit. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Yes. On a car that he paid $900 for three years ago. I don't need to play any more of this. The video goes on. There's more craziness to her story. There's more humiliation. But realistically, what type of person is driving around in a $900 car without insurance? It's a poor person who doesn't have money for insurance. And poor people who have no money, who are uneducated, at times might start to do things a little desperate to get money, and that's why they end up with stupid stories on Judge Judy trying to manipulate Judge Judy um, to get something that they know th they're really not going to get. And I don't know what makes them think that they can go on this show and you know come with a bunch of nonsense and trick Judge Judy, but it's not going to work. So yeah, she's poor, she's uneducated, she has a stupid story, she's embarrassing herself. Judge Judy doesn't even need to do much more to embarrass her. But nonetheless, if we really want to understand where this type of behavior comes from, that is conniving, you know, manipulating other people, doing anything for their money, that's just what poor people are trying to do to get by. So what about a systemic analysis of the society that creates this type of behavior instead of just beating people down for their supposed lack of personal responsibility? So in summation, Judge Judy is nothing more than a bully. The point of her show is to humiliate poor people and to get other people to laugh at how the stupid poor people deserve to be in their predicament. Judge Judy offers nothing in terms of helpful social criticism nor understanding of how our society works and why people get into these situations.